Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you haven't, make sure you like and subscribe and tell a friend. Um, this is actually going to be a burner video. <laughs> a burner video. Um, where have I been my mindset since I'm not really doing as many burner videos? Am I'm still, am I'm still training in burner? Do I still believe in it? Of course I do, I believe in all of that. Um, I have my burner right here. Plus, um, pepper spray in it, just in case the burner doesn't work. Um, also, I got my tactical pen. <laughs> I got a couple other weapons. I even got the Diablo, uh, Hellfire. Um, in there, just in case there's a worst case scenario. Um, what I have kind of figured out and kind of thought about in my head, I've been thinking about my classmate that was murdered. Um, then I saw the funeral. It's, it's something when, you know, you see people and they don't look quite the same in the casket. You know, some people do, some people don't. Um... You know, he was a big Laker fan, I knew that. And then to see him in his Laker purple and, and and hat, you know, that's just not the way you want to go, is to, to, to be murdered um, and, and leave a wife and children behind. Um, that's the worst feeling. I, 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 sh I cannot stress this enough get life insurance if you do not have life insurance make it your business put in your budget work a little bit cut back on fast food whatever you gotta do make that life insurance um just in case these situation happens um it's a tough scenario i mean in his situation a real gun would help him but nobody thinking you getting murdered today you know, it's unless uh, you're in a real rough area, um, but nobody's thinking that. But you, you know, you 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 gotta uh, be prepared, uh, be strapped, not to be at anybody's mercy. Um, lethal, less lethal, gun or no gun, you you got to have good situational awareness. And you, I just make the assumption that people got guns. That's what I do. I just make the assumption that people have something. So I'm always in a prepared state. Winter time is coming. One thing I will do more of, I'm going to get a um, um, in the waist holster and, and you know throw my coat over it because I do like this ray position. And sometimes being in this, it, it's strapped uh, against my back and to bring it around you know that's time. Um, you know that makes that makes a difference. Um, I would definitely say this. Um, <laughs> always be aware of your environment. Always be aware of your surroundings. If it do not look right, if it does not feel right, if you see somebody that just look overly clothed. Um, you know, be cautious, be, be very cautious, not scared, not, not afraid to live, but be cautious and, 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 and tell, you know, and live another day. And I'm not saying this as an expert, I'm saying this because <sighs> that's why I already believe just doing, <laughs> doing martial arts. Now lay alone, now I gotta think about weapons. So I, I just try to avoid and eliminate things that, that could be dangerous. Um, getting gas at night, one o'clock in the morning. Somebody just told me, somebody opened the door, somebody claimed their car went down one o'clock in the morning. And this person opened the door and then got robbed at gunpoint. Why would you open your door at one o'clock in the morning? Um, I have a ring alarm, a ring doorbell. 
can you press it and you get you know I'll speak through there. Um, I will call and say, hey, uh, who's the, who's the people you want to come? I'm not opening the door in no circumstance, and I'm gonna stay strapped. Um, one thing I'm going to do, I don't have a some my 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 gun. I carry it upstairs with me, so. Upstairs, I have my 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 burner. Then I have my burner TCR on on, on my side. So that's the first thing I go, and then I have that, and then I put the my uh, my tackle bag over my shoulder, and that's how I practice it alone. Um, but one thing I could add in my basement, I'm not in my basement, but in my regular areas. I can add one of my less lethals that I have in my in my uh, closet. Uh, stick it up in an area where nobody knows or they're too tall because nobody gonna know your house better than you. So just in case, one of my less lethals, if I bring everything upstairs and then I check my doors at the end of the night, if something goes down, I at least have a weapon um, close to me instead of going up because that takes time. All that takes time. Um, end of the day, man, just, just use your common sense. Don't be overly scared and, you know, live your life and, and try to be safe. Try to be safe in these streets. Try, try to, um, have good situational awareness and be careful and, and, and give it to God and, and, and do all you can. Um, well, my my biggest thing, I'm not worried about me per se, because technically I can defend myself. I worry about family members that, you know, I have family members that walk on canes and I worry about like, oh man, I hope they, you know, are okay, get to the store, they safe. And, and I have family members that don't live in a very safe neighborhood. So I worry about them. Um, you know, that's, that's, that's the thing when you live in this two-way world, this two-way mindset. Um, but yeah, that's, that's my mission. Always be safe, safety. Um, my less lethal gun is probably my very next thing. I haven't been in a hurry because I, you know, I got bills and I pay quite a bit for all my my less lethal. But definitely, only a gun. I I figure only a gun is my end all to everything. It's like I had no choice, and that's all I had. So that's where I, how I see gun. Um, I rather hit you with less lethal, and that be a mistake than you know hit you real, real gun and and kill somebody, an innocent bystander where I don't mean to because I get nervous. And let's and let's be real and let's be honest. Practicing. At shoe range or downstairs, your gun, no gun, is not the same when you're in the heat of the moment and you and you gotta quiet your nerves to take care of this situation. And only thing I know is I don't know like gun live gunfire, but I do know live physical confrontation and alteration based upon my line of work in the past. It, when that drill hit fast and, and what you try to do or when you try to maneuver it doesn't work that way when you get in a real fight nobody gonna let you get the drop on them unless they just really naive you know and, and a, fighting a person that's that's angry or mad is a whole lot different than fighting a person that's compliant 
So it always kind of bothered me when I see these self-defense videos of people and they under the impression that, let's say, crime of God, somebody have a gun, you stick, you take it, break the elbow, flip them over, um, you know, put them on their back. Nobody go, nobody in real life gonna let you do that to them. Nobody. <laughs> um, so, it, you know. But anyway, I, I went from a tangent. Um, the meat of my conversation is be careful. Be careful out there. Uh, watch your six. Protect your family. Um, don't have dumb conversations if it's going to cause a situation. And a lot of male egos is done when we say stuff and then, oh, okay, well, okay, what you going to do then? What you going to do then? And then, that happens. That happens. Um, and I'm not saying that happened to my friend or my classmate, but you, you, you don't want any, anything right now to, to stop, you know, your, your way of life for you or your family. If you can walk away from it, walk away from it. That's it. That's the gist of my conversation. So still very passionate about Les Lethal. Um, when subjects come around, I'll talk about it. But I think I talk quite a bit. I don't know too many people, and I watch a lot of content that has as much burner just conversations than me. And I looked at a lot of burner. Now, there's a lot of burner technical videos, but not a lot of burner situational or less lethal situation. So be safe in these streets. Um, and that's all I have. Have a good day.